Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BFL Reacts. More Infinity Train, book four today. Last time we had the very fun Old West car. We, we saw Samantha the cat again and found out that our characters have been making some enemies over the course of this season. Really <laughs> anticipating seeing the payoff of that, but that that's probably going to wait a bit, I guess. Here in the pig baby car, I would assume that we will be meeting a pig baby. Now, whether the pig baby is a literal pig baby or a, a fat baby that eats a lot, I guess we'll have to see. I don't know what the conflict will be with pig baby, but <laughs> what our goal will be, but I guess let's find out. I vote we keep them on. They're stylish, man. <laughs> Yours has cool doodles. Mine is apparently an old person's grocery list. A lot has happened since the old West car. Is that a floating fork? <laughs> Oh no, is the pig baby going to want to eat them? Who in this car hates you? Again, Kez? Oh. Lorraine. <sighs> Fine. Lorraine, what did you do this time? <laughs> it's a disguise. Fucking Kez. What, what is wrong with Kez? Making enemies everywhere. There's the pig baby. Have you brought something tasty for pig baby? Pig baby uh, is very menacing. Sorry, we didn't know we should bring food. No treats? <laughs> Pig baby. I don't like Pig Baby very much. And what do pretty pigs say? Oink, oink, oink. Very uncomfortable energy from these two. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> I'm right there with them. Pig baby a treat to make it up to him. Look, Miss Cow Creamer, we don't want to Cow Creamer. Son? But we have to be on our way. <laughs> what is their relationship? Yeah. Uh, just me, Lorraine. Kiss me, oh I'm a God. chef's hat. <laughs> Kiss me, I'm a chef's hat. Does the cow buy it? No, thank you. <laughs> okay, Miss <laughs> Cow Creamer. <laughs> we'll make something. Oh, magnifique. You'll find our kitchen fully stocked. Sorry, there is not more butter. This is such a weird episode. <laughs> How did they come up with this premise? Ah, uh, this is like a video game or something. Just gotta jump, man. It's a platformer, bro. What? You have to think before you do things. Lorraine said to jump, and now I'm up here by the cookbook, and you're down there like a chump without a cookbook. Chump. Oh, wait. Those boots that they have, are those like the gravity boots that Simon had in uh, book three? Chicken liver anchovy toast? Wax beans O'Brien? Tomato frost? Gross. It's American. Are those American? I've never heard of those. The creamer said so, wow, pig baby. Here, this one actually sounds pretty good. It also looks pretty complicated. We'll be fine. Making the pie for the big baby. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm sorry for the... <laughs> Italian? That wasn't even close enough to Italian to be offensive, so it's okay. Very different approaches with these two. Ugh. If I was at Dumpy's right now, I would be ashamed to serve this. <laughs> Pig <laughs> baby. Pig baby is not impressed. Ew. Warm banana mayonnaise salad? Oh, man. Ew. man. Great music. Disgusting post-war food. <laughs> what Americans eat this stuff? <laughs> they need to get on the same level as far as preparation, for sure. They're gonna run out of butter, man. And the music is always so good in this show. Oh man, butter's almost done. Their right mind enjoys post war American food. <laughs> I told you, I know, okay. I guess I don't know much about post war American cuisine. Oh man, my butter. I hope it's okay. Kez, were you the butter incident? I put a bunch of butter in the microwave, set it for five minutes, forgot, and like maybe all the butter melted. Kez. Or what? She Stay did? in the kitchen forever? <laughs> I am not about to turn the clock back on women's lib, man. <laughs> oh my god. I love Kez. Oh! Oh, are they, are they starting to get on the same wavelength? It was in the recipe book. 
Ooh, a humble brownie expert. <laughs> okay, okay. I feel like the number is about to come down. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I wonder if their numbers are ever going to unsync. <gasps> you learn to slow down. We're here to learn lessons, right? That's the thing that just happened. You took your time with something for once, and hey, and if you're the one uh -oh. who learned something, then that means I'm the one who made the numbers change. You're the one who was meant to be on the train. No. Not me. No, no. I didn't know. I no. made you follow me. If... This is the wrong lesson. It was a freak accident, and I'll do everything I can to help you mature. Went up. Dumbass. Maybe the lesson didn't stick. Maybe you need to prove you learned it by doing it again in the future. I guess. Come on, man. Man, that kind of killed my vibe. I was, like, vibing with this episode. That that kind of pissed me off. <laughs> no! He's happy now, so we're gonna exit. No, no! You have to keep cooking! Are they supposed to cook for Pig Baby uh, all day, every day? Okay, Pig Baby. <laughs> we're all just adults here, so let's just... Pig Baby is literally not an adult. Ew. I feel like you get so many diseases in Pig Baby's mouth. Here's hoping we don't have to cook again to get your number down. Uh, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? He's pissing me. Ah, uh, man, gee. You can't help it if you have a lot to learn. <sighs> oh! Come on, man. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I actually really liked this episode, but it was also extremely frustrating there at the end. I really like seeing the dynamics of their relationship play out. It was cool seeing them come together. And then Min Gi just, like, being kind of a dickhead. Like, I'm trying to think, if I were in his situation, would I, would I, would I have the same thought process as him? Would I think it was Ryan's fault? I think, I'm not sure. I might, right? Because, I mean, the train is confusing, but <laughs> it does almost seem, like, intentional. Like, intentionally uh, averting the blame from himself. Did I use the word averting right? Yeah. Putting the blame away from himself. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like I don't know enough about their dynamic to know if that's, like, a recurring thing. I guess probably <laughs> because it's something that needs to be addressed on the train, so it's probably something that's happened before. But it was so frustrating, like, we, we have fun cooking montages to catchy music, and then he just, like, kind of killed my vibe, man. <laughs> also, fuck Pig Baby. I hate Pig Baby. I never want to see Pig Baby again. Extremely cursed denizen. <laughs> I, I kind of liked uh, the creamer cow, or whatever, though. She, she was kind of fun. Kind of evil, though. I wonder if... Pig Baby will join our motley crew of Kez's enemies. <laughs> Kez really just pisses everyone off everywhere she goes. I kind of, I kind of respect it. it. It's, it's a good bit. It's funny. Yeah, I kind of just came into his house and melted all his butter and left. <laughs> what did she do in the old west car? Was it just that she didn't pay for tea? I can't remember. But I. <laughs> Anyways, I, I really like Ke the seeing the consequences of Kez's actions and Ryan and Men Gi having to d deal with the consequences of <laughs> of them is unfortunate for them, but humorous for us, the viewers. Anyways, let's see what that next episode's titled. The Astro Q Car. I have absolutely no clue what that could mean. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, peace.